Imagine you're relaxing on a beach and suddenly a squid the size of a van washes ashore, or a fish with a transparent head floats near a boat in shallow waters. These aren't sci-fi stories, they're real events reported from coastlines across the world. From Japan to California, from New Zealand to Chile, creatures that once lived in the deepest, darkest trenches of our oceans are appearing near the surface. And no one knows exactly why. These are animals we were never supposed to see with our own eyes. They've spent millions of years evolving in a world without light, where pressure can crush submarines and temperatures stay just above freezing. But now, something is forcing them to flee their ancient homes. Is it natural evolution, seismic activity, or are humans unknowingly driving these mysterious creatures upward? As strange as it sounds, this isn't just about fish or squids. This might be a message from the planet itself. In this video, we're diving deep, literally and figuratively, into the rise of deep sea life. We'll look at terrifying real life sightings, scientific theories, myths of the Leviathan, and what all of this says about the future of our oceans and humanity. In recent years, the number of deep sea creature sightings near the ocean surface has skyrocketed. Let's start with a chilling example. In Toyama Bay, Japan, beachgoers were stunned to see a giant squid, over 12 feet long, swimming close to the shore. This isn't a normal occurrence. Giant squids usually live thousands of meters beneath the surface, where sunlight never reaches. So why was it suddenly so close to human activity? That's not all. Off the coast of California, fishermen captured a barrel eye fish, an alien-like species with a transparent head that allows it to look upward through its skull. In the Philippines, a mysterious fangtooth fish, known for its grotesquely oversized teeth, was found entangled in fishing nets. And in Chile, shortly after a minor undersea earthquake, a glowing, gelatinous eel-like creature drifted to the surface and vanished, never officially identified. What's disturbing is that many of these creatures were either injured, disoriented, or dead. Marine biologists believe these appearances aren't just random. They're symptoms of something larger. Are these just isolated anomalies, or is there a deeper pattern? One that signals a shift in the ocean's deepest ecosystems. Either way, the ocean is speaking, and it's time we listened. Deep sea creatures are some of the most alien life forms on Earth. They live at depths of over 1,000 meters, beyond the reach of sunlight, in an environment of eternal darkness, freezing temperatures and crushing pressure. To survive, they've developed bizarre adaptations that defy logic and biology. Take the anglerfish, for example. The female has a bioluminescent lure hanging from her head, used to attract prey in the pitch black waters. Then there's the vampire squid, which isn't quite a squid or an octopus, but something in between. It uses glowing arms to create a cloud of light and vanish like a ghost. The gulper eel can swallow prey larger than itself with a balloon-like jaw. And don't forget the faceless cusk eel, a creature so strange it looks like it was pulled from a nightmare. Most of these animals have never been seen alive by humans. Some can live over a century. Others glow, camouflage, or turn themselves inside out. They live in what scientists call the midnight zone, an area of the ocean we know less about than the surface of Mars. So when these creatures start rising to the surface, it's not just unusual, it's alarming. Scientists are sounding the alarm. Deep sea creatures don't just wander to the surface. When they do, it often means their world below has been disturbed. So what's happening? One explanation is underwater seismic activity, earthquakes, volcanic eruptions and even tsunamis. When the sea floor shifts, it displaces the water and shakes the deep trenches, possibly driving animals upward. These events can cause temperature changes, underwater landslides, or even release toxic chemicals trapped in sediments. Then there's light pollution from deep sea mining operations or underwater technology. Artificial lighting may disrupt the internal navigation systems of creatures adapted to total darkness, pushing them away from their habitats. Some marine biologists believe the real reason is even more dangerous, climate instability. The ocean's chemical balance is changing, rising temperatures, 
oxygen depletion, and acidification are altering ecosystems faster than these species can adapt. In other words, these creatures aren't just exploring, they're escaping. And if they're being pushed from the deep, what does that say about what we're doing to the planet? The deep sea was once thought to be untouched by humans, a final frontier too far and too dark to exploit. But in recent decades, that idea has collapsed. Human activity has now penetrated even the most remote corners of our oceans, and the results are disturbing. Let's start with deep sea mining. Countries like China, Norway and the United States are investing heavily in extracting minerals from the ocean floor. These include cobalt, nickel and rare earth elements, critical for smartphones, batteries and electric vehicles, but the cost is steep. Mining machines disturb vast areas of seabed, kicking up clouds of toxic sediment, releasing heavy metals and destroying fragile ecosystems that took millions of years to form. Oil drilling is another major culprit. Offshore platforms use loud sonar, underwater explosions and heavy machinery to locate and extract fossil fuels. These disruptions can confuse and displace marine life, especially creatures that rely on sound for navigation. Even shipping traffic contributes to the chaos. Gigantic vessels emit low-frequency noise that travels deep into the ocean, potentially disorienting deep-sea animals. The ocean was never silent, but now it's deafening. These disturbances are not just inconveniences. For deep-sea creatures, they are existential threats, and those threats are pushing them toward the surface and into our world. When we think about climate change, Images of melting glaciers or forest fires usually come to mind. Not the dark depths of the ocean. But the truth is, climate change is reaching deeper than ever before, affecting even the creatures that live thousands of meters below the surface. The oceans absorb over 90% of the Earth's excess heat generated by greenhouse gas emissions. This causes subtle but deadly increases in deep sea temperatures, where species are adapted to near freezing conditions. Even a rise of 1 or 2 degrees Celsius can be catastrophic. It can disrupt metabolic rates, reproduction and food availability. Warming water also holds less oxygen, creating dead zones where animals can't survive. Deep sea creatures that rely on stable oxygen levels are forced to migrate upward in search of better conditions. At the same time, increased carbon dioxide dissolves in seawater, causing ocean acidification which weakens the shells of many deep-sea organisms. Unlike surface animals, deep-sea species evolve slowly and can't adapt quickly to rapid environmental changes. Their habitats are shrinking and their survival is at risk. In many ways, these creatures are early warning signals. Their sudden appearances near the surface could be a distress call, an urgent message about the health of the entire planet. For centuries, sailors and coastal communities have told stories of monstrous sea creatures lurking beneath the waves, giants known as leviathans. These tales, passed down through generations, describe enormous beasts capable of sinking ships and dragging entire crews into the depths. But were these stories mere myths, or did they stem from real encounters with unknown deep-sea creatures? Some scientists believe that ancient legends could be inspired by sightings of giant squids, massive whales, or other rare animals surfacing unexpectedly. Even today, the giant squid, once considered a mythical monster, is now known to science, but remains elusive and mysterious. With the recent surge in deep-sea creatures appearing near the surface, many are asking, are we rediscovering the Leviathan, or could we be facing something entirely different? something far stranger than folklore can explain. Technology like deep-sea submersibles and sonar has revealed bizarre otherworldly creatures, some never before seen. It blurs the line between myth and reality. Whether the Leviathan is a legend or a warning, these ancient stories remind us how little we truly understand about the ocean's darkest corners and how much we might be awakening by disturbing them. Despite centuries of exploration, the deep sea remains one of the least explored frontiers on Earth. Scientists estimate that over 95% of the ocean floor is still unmapped and thousands of species remain undiscovered. 
This vast alien world hides creatures with forms, behaviors, and adaptations that challenge our imagination. If deep sea creatures are now surfacing in larger numbers, it begs a terrifying question. What else is down there? Could we be disturbing ecosystems that have remained stable for millions of years? Are there predators, pathogens, or unknown forces lurking in the abyss? Some researchers warn that human activities, deep sea mining, pollution, and climate change, may not just be threatening individual species, but disrupting entire ecosystems. Such disturbances could trigger cascading effects, releasing toxic substances or invasive species that could harm ocean life and eventually us. The ocean acts as Earth's climate regulator, food source and oxygen producer. If its delicate balance is broken, the consequences could be catastrophic on a global scale. As we continue to push further into the ocean's dark depths, we must ask ourselves, are we ready to face the unknown? And can we respect the mysteries we are beginning to unravel? The rising appearances of deep sea creatures near the surface are not just strange anomalies, they are urgent warnings. These mysterious animals are fleeing the destruction of their fragile habitats caused by earthquakes, pollution, climate change, and human exploitation. Their forced migration signals a deep crisis unfolding beneath the waves, one that directly impacts the health of our planet. If we continue to ignore the silent distress of the oceans, we risk triggering irreversible damage. The deep sea is a vital regulator of Earth's climate and home to ecosystems that maintain the balance of life. Its destruction will have consequences far beyond the water's edge, affecting food chains, weather patterns, and even the air we breathe. We have the power and responsibility to act. Reducing carbon emissions, regulating deep sea mining, protecting marine habitats, and supporting scientific exploration can help preserve this hidden world. By listening to the ocean's warning signs, we honor the creatures that share this planet with us. Let this be a call to wake up before it's too late.